Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing today? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about unconditional love, the purest form of love, soul growth, fitness, prosperity, all good, good things. But today, I will be doing a message as it resonates for Twin Flame, Soulmate, Divine Love, Fated Connection, however you reconcile this beautiful gift of love in your heart. I do everything from a masculine perspective, what's in the masculine's heart space as of the moment. If they could say anything to their beautiful counterpart, what would it be and the overall energy of this beautiful love collective? So I'm going to get started here. And this just keeps coming out over and over and over again. So I'm so glad that you're here. I do appreciate the likes, the love, the comments, the sense of community on this channel. It truly warms my heart like you would not believe. And miracles and magic occur every single day here. But the miracle card is showing up again for this masculine energy. So it's just, it keeps coming out. And I shuffle, I do a little mantra over the cards. So if you're here, I'm so happy for you. But there's miracles headed on towards this particular masculine. Something that they've been manifesting, meditating out there. It's coming back into the third dimensional world. And it's absolutely beautiful. But it does have to do with your sacred union and reunion. So... Believe it or not, uh, when you go on your separate journeys in the third dimensional world, this masculine has the, the same depth of love for their counterpart. And they go through the same obstacles and the same challenges. And they, you know, pray and meditate however you resonate about you and this love that they have in their heart. They have the same, like I said, depth of love. And a lot of the times, the logic is what prevents both of you from coming together because you always want to, you wrestle with the ego as opposed to listen, listening to the soul. So I feel like it's a very, very good thing. Uh, they are overcoming some huge obstacles, some ending some huge cycles in their life and the lessons that they are meant to learn, they're learning. So some of them have been stuck in this perpetual karmic cycle, failing to learn their lessons. And it could be a karmic partner, it could be a job, it could be family, it could be anything. And they're having these aha moments where they're like, oh, uh, I guess this is what I meant to learn here. And when you learn that lesson, naturally the cycle comes to completion. So they've jumped off the Ferris wheel of I want to say karmic cycles and they're just freeing themselves of any toxicity that's in their current orbit and I love that all so very much so miracle 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 miracles and I just love this if they could say anything to you what, what would it be and they want to say that they know that you're a mirror soul of each other they've been researching this love because they haven't been able to shake this love and they know that you're a mirror soul of each other you marry each other you trigger each other this is far greater and deeper than th the I want to say the limitations of the physical realm they know all this stuff and as they ascend that wisdom comes to them I want to say one of the things that this masculine really wrestles with on this journey of physical separation, even though you're always together energetically, is the sense of denial. And it's th it's that ego coming in always and interfering with the voice of the heart. We often do it. We're very guilty of that as humans. You know, we want to put a lot, we want to always put logic there, but sometimes there isn't always logic to be told or to be heard. So you just have to follow the voice of the heart. As this masculine ascends to higher consciousness, the wisdom of their higher self is telling them that this is truly the love 
of a lifetime. This is unconditional love. So that's maybe that's one of those cycles and those lessons that they need to learn that to trust the voice of their heart and not the rubbish of thought. And I love that so much. Another very important thing they want to tell you is they're seeing crazy signs and synchronicities. This keeps coming out. This keeps coming out because one of two reasons. You are meant to hear this message or you, and you've come at the right time or you fail to hear the message. But this masculine see, sees signs and synchronicity every single day. But right now they're very deep and they're very profound. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, when I was in physical separation from my beautiful soul, it was about a week before we came back into physical embodiment and these signs were outrageous. Like I was just doing my own thing. I completely surrendered, broken free of it all, just living my life. And I, they, I, I just, I couldn't believe how outrageous they were. And when, when they're more frequent and more bizarre, I feel like that's a very good indication that you're coming closer in the third dimensional world. For me specifically, it was a hawk. I never seen a hawk before in my life. Uh, I was looking out one day, something told me to get out of bed. I was meditating, looked out in the backyard. Many of you know this story. There was a hawk sitting on a small ornamental apple tree in a very high populated area. And I'm like, what is this? So I looked it up. I'm like, wow, but this hawk followed me for a good over a year and a half every single day. And a few days before we came into physical embodiment, it flew about two feet from my shoulder. I'm like, what? And so that I was like, these signs are absolutely outrageous. The music was outrageous. Everything was outrageous. And a couple of days later we were together. So pay attention to those, but you already are because you are awakened. Um, a few other messages for your beautiful soul is I'm ending karmic cycles that don't fulfill my soul absolutely resonates with their heart space at the mo at, as of the moment. Lessons, cycles, completions, um, ending them. I love it all so much. Totally resonates, always does. I'm struggling to let go of my ego. Absolutely, 100%. Now, the ego is a very complex, I want to say, blessing or beast. The ego is who we are. And it forms about at the age of two. The ego serves to protect, but it also can be a huge nemesis in your journey of life. And the ego is living in the past, living in the future, not living in the moment. And then when you start living in the past and living in the future, that's when your ego is heightened and on steroids. And it takes you to sometimes a path of darkness. It's always best to live in the moment. Like I said, the ego is there to serve and protect you. You can't really disseminate the ego, but you can disseminate unhealthy parts of the ego, if that makes any sense. Um, they also want you to know that they have never felt love like this before. And that's what I alluded to earlier. They are reconciling this. And they never have felt love like this before, just as you have never felt love like this before either. It's so difficult, like you're just living your life and then all of a sudden this beautiful soul enters. It may not seem like the perfect moment in time, but it is divine time. It's divinely orchestrated and you know, you come in and you just give each other this gift of love that you've never felt before. It's because you're deserving of it. Maybe you've had a lot of trauma, trials, tribulations in your life, and you've never lost faith. And then as a reward, this comes in. But then it seems kind of cruel that it's taken away. It's how you navigate your journey. Do you navigate it with bitterness and just, you know, you go back to sleep, so to speak, and you just listen to the voice of ego? Or do you listen to the voice of heart and love? So, and they also want you to know that I'm longing for your warm embrace, 100%. And that's, as I said earlier, these miracles, this praying, this manifesting, this meditating, 
They are uh, longing for your warm embrace. And these signs and synchronicities are pushing your counterpart to make a move. And I love it also very much. As many of you know, if you're not new, this is a journey, a soul journey to spirit. And it, there's so many things that need to occur. But one of the one of the most important things is the purity and the, I want to say, just cleansing. Because unfortunately, the world that we live in is very contaminated. It's dirty, it's dark, and it's filthy. And to no fault of your own, you may have been tarnished in your journey of life. None of us are meant to be. We're meant to walk our path of life of unconditional love and forgiveness. And it's just, as I said, contaminated. So what you do is you come into each other and you purify. And it's known as the body connections or the chakras. There's seven key energy points in the body. They, there's no right away way to navigate this. And you, you could be purifying for one month, a year, five years, 10 years. It, it's when that cycle completes and you'll know. In, internally, you'll just know when, it, when you're done. But today, which is so beautiful, the chakra that is purifying, aligning and cleansing, so you're aligning with each other, um, is the heart chakra. And it is the fourth body connection. It's located obviously in the heart area. It governs the thymus gland, heart, blood, and circulatory system, the immune and doserin systems. It is the center of emotions, social identity, self-acceptance. It is related to love. When developed, it improves our ability to love deeply, feel compassion, and to have a deep sense of peace and centeredness. Now, what I will say about this heart chakra, and I experienced it many times, and I still do because I'm very connected to the collective. So I feel your energy. We are all one. And when you're I feel like your heart chakras, they align at the same time. And how do you know that? Is sometimes if you're in, it, and it may happen just instant, like instantaneously or when you're meditating and you get this vibration, your trembles, body shaking, very weird sensations. And when you come out of it, you feel this sense of peace and centeredness but most of all, love and bliss. That vibration is the two of you aligning. I have some powerful um, videos out there uh, and it's proven by science. If you're skeptical, hurts, um, binaural beats, it, it is very powerful to align. So you may be going through that right now. I love it, I love it all so much. I will put the heart chakra video up within this video give it a whirl, focus on the color green. If you can, I always say minimum three times a day. If you can, for five minutes, take five minutes for you and just breathe in, count to four, and then exhale, count to six. Clear your mind, focus on your breathing. You will see how this will transform your life. I love it all so much. What's the overall energy of this beautiful collective? And again, the miracles is coming out. So not only is the masculine manifesting miracles into their orbit, so are you feminine, and you're both doing it collectively. And what a beautiful gift you're giving to each other. So in the days to come, you're going to see some miraculous miracles. Isn't that wonderful? I feel like it's going to lead to an offer. And an offer in the third dimensional world. And, and that's because the masculine is being pushed very heavily. And it could just be a very simple token of, hello, how are you doing? And then everything will, I want to say, manifest greater and deeper after that. But I feel like this miracle is an offer that you've been waiting for. A simple gesture of communication. So, so beautiful. I have two other, um, I always can't be the bearer of good news, so I have to be the bearer of truth, and that's what you get when you come here. And this ego keeps coming to the surface, and that's the unhealthy part of your ego. 
but forgiveness is coming out as well. And forgiveness is a very, very powerful weapon. It frees you, it liberates you, and maybe it's one of these cycles that you have to complete, forgiving yourself of any of your transgressions that you may feel shameful or guilty or whatever it may be, forgive yourself. And it's one of the most important things you can do for yourself. And once you have the ability to forgive and let go and surrender to anything, then you will honestly be able to forgive others in your life. And that is also freeing and liberating. Because if you harbor bitterness within yourself towards somebody that's wronged you, you're only hurting yourself. Truly you are, because it doesn't affect the other person, it affects you. So beautiful, 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 love it all so much. Miracles offer forgiveness, ego. And as many of you know, signs, synchronicity is part of your day to day now. And you know, you may be seeing repetitive numbers, you may be seeing uh, animals, and animals are very, very ma magnetically attracted to you. That's because your sixth sense is aware, you're awakened. And animals instinctively know this, and they gravitate to you, towards you. So do children. And it's very beautiful. And today, the feminine animal spirit message is turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. Always, 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 always give with gratitude and grace. Every morning I have a few affirmations that I say, and it's like, thank you for another day. Thank you for seeing, hearing, speaking, touching, tasting, clean water. There's so many things to be grateful for. Sometimes we focus on what we don't have, and we, and as opposed to what we do have. And when you focus on what you don't have, then you become kind of stuck and lost in your way. Because giving grace and gratitude, you get that back in return. And if you're asking for something, if you're praying or manifesting or meditating on something, always give grace and gratitude first before the ask. Love it, love it so much. The, um, masculine energy spirit today is there is always enough so i love how these uh, it's koi fish spirit by the way there is always enough and there is always enough as i just said you're you know if you focus on what you don't have as opposed to what you do have then certain elements of your life will be taken away there is always enough and as i said you know, sight, smell, touch, feel, everything. It's always enough. And I love that. And that is so beautifully aligned. You're aligned with each other in that respect. And the overall animal spirit of this beautiful, beautiful love collective is dolphin, spirit, this and that are true. And that totally resonates with... Um, the love that you feel for each other it is true you know you will go through this journey with a lot of confusion and doubt but always come back to what you feel if this is something that you have never felt before in your life and it is a love that can't be explained then it is true always follow your voice i know sometimes you want clarification there's you know a your, the clarification is it comes within yourself. And, you know, I see things that go on out in the world and it truly breaks my heart how these vultures are taking advantage of vulnerable hearts. This is a vulnerable journey. I've been there. I've done that. I've fe felt like I cried an ocean full of tears when we were physically apart. And I, and I saw... Just, you know, thank, by the grace of God, I, I was given the strength and the courage to endeavor the journey. But I just saw the pure parasites out there taking advantage of the vulnerable. Be careful, please. There are people 
just monetizing off that vulnerability and it is not right. To be quite honest, they don't care. They care about funding their bank account. So please be very, very careful. And that's the message I have for your beautiful souls today. Again, if any of this resonates, kindly subscribe, like, comment, love, love, love your comments. Give my new channel a world, a breath of humanity. It's igniting the heart of humanity one person at a time. And I'm going to put up a video on Hope Unite. It's a very powerful movement of You Matter. It's suicide awareness, eradicating suicide altogether. What a beautiful, beautiful movement. And just by donating $1, less than a cup of coffee, you are truly, truly helping to save someone's life. And with that being said, have a beautiful, beautiful day. My name is Crystal Adam Scott, and I'm the founder of Hope Unite. Hope Unite is a movement of hope to help prevent suicides and find trauma survivors and connect them to a support system that they may not know is available to them. I started Hope Unite after the loss of my husband to suicide in 2017. He believed a lie, and most suicide victims do. And that lie is, is that they don't matter, that there is no hope, and that their life is invaluable. That lie caused my son never to be able to see his father or his father to ever be able to see him grow up. I knew there were other people that felt like him. And so that was really the foundation of what started Hope Unite for us. The You Matter movement is a movement of hope created to start a domino effect of kind interactions all across the world. Every day we wake up with air in our lungs, we get opportunities to make a positive impact on the world around us. The phrase you matter to me, it means that you matter no matter what you're going through, no matter how old you are, no matter where you come from or any of those things, you matter as an individual. When I was diagnosed with cancer, uh, stage four, they were telling, they're telling me I'm gonna die. It was Crystal and Hope Unites that kept me motivated to just keep going, where I was able to use my gifts and my talents and my time to work with the volunteers and to do good and to help people make a difference and getting other people involved. And so it gave me a reason to, to be positive and to, to use my business sense for the sake of something that is so beautiful. Join the movement and impact the world in a positive way, one act of kindness at a time.